Hello! It's time for a new release of my Microsoft Flight Simulator Stream Deck profiles. And this one is a big one. Literally. If you fly the A320, you know how much critical functionality is packed into the overhead panel. With this profile, you can now have all those controls available at any time in your flight setup. Stream Deck Mobile opens up huge possibilities for expanding your simulator controls. Since it can run on either a phone or tablet, you've got almost limitless options for layouts and button variations. Even better, you can run two instances on a tablet, giving you a total of 128 buttons at once. And if you prefer, you can also use this profile with your regular Stream Deck devices, copying or modifying the button layout however you like. I have designed the layout so that the top and bottom sections fit neatly on the single Stream Deck Excel page. I'll skip the basic Stream Deck mobile setup here, but you can find a full guide on the Elgato Workshop channel. I'll include the link in the description. For installation, download the profile, the required button icons and the background image from this package. Save the button images to the correct folder path. I'll put the exact path in the description. Once you have installed the Stream Deck mobile app and connected it to your Windows Stream Deck software, you should see a layout like this on your tablet. Select a custom layout with 8x7 or 7x8 tiles, since that's how this profile was built. Of course, you can change the layout and buttons if you would like. Orientation may vary depending on your tablet model, so make sure to set it correctly. I recommend using the dark theme so the buttons look cleaner. I've also included a custom faceplate background to make it look more like a real A320 overhead panel. To use it, save the faceplate image to your tablet, then go to custom faceplate in the Stream Deck app and add it from there. Note that this requires the Pro version of Stream Deck Mobile. It's not available in the free version. If you do get the Pro version, you'll unlock up to 64 buttons per page. The free version is more limited, but you can still copy profiles and buttons over to your desktop devices if needed. You can also try the Pro version free for a limited time. Now you have the basic setup done for this profile. Next, just double-click the profile file in Windows. Stream Deck will ask which device you would like to use it on. Select your mobile device and the profile will load. Simple as that. Let's take a look at how the profile works in the simulator and let's switch to the Pro version. Version 1.0 includes the hydraulics, fuel and electrical panels. Everything except the Ratman on switch. All the buttons mimic the real aircraft controls. Just like in the sim, the buttons require the proper power sources to function. For example, turning on the battery will wake up some buttons, but you will need AC power for full functionality. Then you can start setting the plane without need to turn camera in-game. You could even mount your iPad overhead to mimic the real A320 overhead panel. There are few known limitations at the moment. Button cards don't fully sync with the simulator state. You need to flip the card open before toggling the switch and the card will auto-close after a short time, but its position won't mirror in the sim. I also noticed that the variable for battery 2 voltage doesn't seem to match the in-game battery 2 value. I'm not sure whether the in-game value is shown correctly or if the variable is displaying the wrong value. There's also a minor possible bug regarding variables. The in-game commercial and galley at capping button fault indicators seem to be lit incorrectly, or the variables are showing the wrong values. When commercial has a fault, galley at capping shows the fault and vice versa. Despite these limitations, I think this profile gives a much more realistic and convenient way to handle the A320 overhead panel. No more awkward camera moves in the cockpit. I really hope you find this profile and video useful. Please remember to like, subscribe and support my work. Wishing you smooth flights!